Hello everyone, in this video I try to show you how simply you can install Phoenix Dark Matter with the help of our Windows installer. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So as you see, I already have the Dark Matter as a file. Uh, if you don't, then check the video description and you should get it from there. Uh, once you have it, right click on the as a file over on open with data select Windows Explorer. Once you have done that, your ISO file should get mounted like this and then simply open the advanced Android x 60 installer executable. And this is basically the Windows installer for Nixel Dark Matter. So the installer has started. Now simply click on next. Um, so now as you see we are on this installation configuration screen here you can specify or change some of the options as per your need here you can see we have two input fields called name and version you can specify any name and version in here that will help you when you need to install multiple android x 60 operating system in the same machine and here we have a bunch of checkboxes I prefer that you leave this as is and you might wanna check the last option which is named as download latest jrup twin so it will get the latest jrup twin bootloader from the internet instead of using the offline version of it which was prepacked with this installer so it's better to get the latest version always so i'm preferring this finally as you see that we have two big big buttons up there one is xtfs or ext file system and the other one is called other fs or other file system now you might be wondering which one to click on um, so this other fs button means uh, any of the file systems among ntfs pair 32 but except ext type ones this installation option is slightly simpler on the other hand we have this HTFS button. You should know that Android runs over Linux kernel and any Linux based operating system prefer itself to install over an HT type file system, which lets the Linux kernel run optimally. So, yes, this is the file system option I prefer to use, but yet this one could get a bit troublesome for some personal computers since it involves installing HT file system drivers. Okay, so here we go. As you see, it's about to install ext file system drivers now. It should take a couple of seconds, I guess. Okay, so it's done. Since I'm showing the ext file system installation option, so we're gonna need to create an ext4 partition. For that, click on this button and it should start the partitioning tool right in a few seconds. Okay, so it has started. I'll just maximize it. Okay, so as you see in the bottom, I already have a bunch of partitions, including HD4 ones. But just to show you, I'll be demonstrating uh, the way of resizing a partition. So now I'll resize this partition of mine. Right click on your desired partition and then select move or resize. After that, um, just for your information, you should. Uh, you need a new partition with about 10 gigs of space and that should be enough but you can make a bigger one also if you like by the way here you can see the increment of your new partition size ok let's do it here we have a 10 gb size partition I'm good with it and once you're satisfied with your partition size click on ok and now we have the unallocated empty partition right click on the new unallocated empty partition and then select the file system as 64 now you might wanna uh, give it a label like for example I'll just call it android x 60 and then ok after that simply click on apply 
and the resizing operation should get started. We need to wait um, maybe a minute or two, and it should be done. Okay, so the job is done. Simply close the partitioning window and hit next. You will see it's trying to mount your rectifier partition. It should take a few seconds and then it's almost done. Okay, so it's telling me if you can't find your rectifier partitions, then you must restart and try again. Yes, that's right. If you can't find them, then you need to restart because sometimes Windows under acts like faulty and restarting solves the issue and then select your newly created ext core partition or your partition of choice in case if you are using the other face option so this is the partition ext core partition that i made earlier okay, so the thing looks okay here um, click on next now finally click on install as you see the installation has started right now it's installing zero up to in put order after that one by one it will install all your files putting system files i mean now if you don't or i mean if you get a lot of warnings during the installation process that might be because your ft4 file system wasn't mounted as read and write for that reason you should try to re uh, reboot your windows and try again Okay, so it should take maybe two or three minutes. I'll be back after that. Okay, so as you see, the installation is finally done, and we're good to go. Now all I've got to do is reboot, and you should find yourself in the new GDF Twin Bootloader. From there, you should be able to select your operating system, and that's it. Okay, so have fun, and if you find this you helpful then you should know what to do right <laughs> okay so take care and bye bye